The Great Lakes region is an angler's dream. Thousands of lakes, rivers and streams teeming with freshwater fish. The water is sparkling, the fish are biting, and the sun is finally shining. After a long, hard winter, these anglers are ready to cast their lines. And for many in the metro Detroit area, that means fishing the Detroit River. It's the Detroit River. I love my city. I live two or three miles away. I can come almost every day. Usually you have big perch right here. That's what, you know, perch and then the walleye. Hey, ain't nothing like, like, like fresh right out the road. But with power plants and steel factories hugging its shoreline, many people question just how safe consuming fish from the Detroit River can be. There's all the power plants around. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of stuff float up and down this river and, you know, it's in the water. I mean, it looks beautiful, but, I mean, I can't really trust it. It might be dirty. The environmental hazards of the Detroit River may be egregious, but they are in no way unique. Many of the contaminants found in the Detroit River can be found throughout the Great Lakes region. PCBs is one of the contaminants. They've been banned, but they're still in use and they're still deposited. Another contaminant is mercury. Mercury is still in use. It comes from coal incineration and things like that, so we have deposition into our waters and, and that results in them getting into the fish. Each year, the Michigan Department of Community Health collects data on water bodies throughout the state. It's our job to provide information to people about fish from our water bodies and the chemicals that may or may not be in them. The findings are published in the Michigan Fish Advisory, helping the public discern which fish are safe to eat. We try to dispel the myth that you can't eat anything from the Detroit River because that's not true. There are good fish to eat from the river, but there are some that are pretty highly contaminated. So we try to help people make choices about which fish are better to eat. Many anglers on the Detroit River need to fish to feed their families and their neighbors. Informing these anglers of the fish advisories can have a deep impact on community health. Next week, this park is going to be inundated with people. To make sure this information gets to the people who need it most, the Michigan Department of Community Health hired river walkers, locals like Robert and Jim, whose sole job is to explain the fish advisories directly to anglers on the Detroit River. Good morning. How's everyone this morning? Are you guys catching any fish? Not yet. Not yet? Uh, we're from uh, Wayne State University in the Department of Community Health, and we're here to uh, provide information to the fishermen about the fish in the river. This brochure tells you which fish going from top to bottom are the cleanest to catch, mm -hmm. eat. The importance of having Jim and Robert out here is to get those printed materials into the hands of people who can actually use them. This tells you how to cook the fish so mm. that the uh, grease falls away from the fish. And I got one in there? You got, yeah, you have one of those in your hand. I, I try not to load you down, I just go over. You can practice safe fishing by choosing the right fish. Knowing how to process your fish, you can remove a huge amount of your PCBs and fish by removing the skin and removing the fatty part of the fish. And if you process your fish, grilling it, letting the fat drip away from the fish and not refrying your fish in the fish oils over and over again, you can make fishing in the Detroit River very healthy. The Detroit River is a wonderful asset to the city and community to be enjoyed by all. Environmental factors change continually, but with the proper knowledge, we can continue to enjoy this wonderful asset for sport and for a healthy local food source.